What was Charles Darwin's contribution to science? Darwin developed a scientific theory of biological evolution that explains how modern organisms evolved over long periods of time through descent from common. What three patterns of biodiversity did Darwin note? Darwin noticed that different yet ecologically sim similar animal species inhabited separate but ecologically similar habitats around the globe. Darwin noticed that different yet related animal species often occupied different habitats within a local area. Darwin noticed that some fossils of extinct animals were similar to living species. Darwin's journey began in 1831 when he was invited to sail on the HMS Beagle five-year voyage along the route. Evolution is a change over time, the process by which modern organisms have descended from ancient organisms. Fossils are preserved remains of living things. What did Hutton and Lowell conclude about Earth's history? Hutton and Lowell concluded that Earth is extremely old and that the processes that change Earth in the past are the same processes that operate in the present. Perhaps Lamarck proposed that species evolve. Lamarck suggested that organisms could change during their lifetimes by selectively using or not using various parts of their bodies. He also suggested that individuals could pass these acquired traits on to their offspring, enabling species to change over time. Adaptation is heritable characteristics that increase an organism's ability to survive and reproduce. What was Malthus's view of population growth? Malthus reasoned that if the human population grew unchecked, there wouldn't be enough living space and food for everyone. Fitness is how well an organism can survive and reproduce in its environment. Okay. How is inherited variation used in artificial selection? In artificial selection, nature provides the variations and humans select those they find useful. Natural selection is the process by which organisms that are most suited to their environment survive and reproduce most successfully, also called survival of the fittest. Under what condition does natural selection occur? Natural selection occur? occurs in any situation in which more individuals are born than survive, the struggle for existence. There is natural heritable variation, variation and adaptation. There is a variable fitness among individuals, survival of the fittest. Origins of evolutionary thought. The groundwork for the modern theory of evolution was laid during the 1700s and 1800s. Charles Darwin developed a, the central idea of evolution by natural selection, but others before and during his lifetime influenced his thinking. 1785, James Hunton. Hunton proposed that slow-acting geological phase shaped the planet. He estimates the Earth will be millions, not thousands of years old. 1789. Thomas Mathis, in his essay on the principle of population, Mathis predicts that the left unchecked, the human population will grow beyond the space and food needed to sustain it. 1809, Jean Baptist Lamarck. Lamarck publishes his hypothesis of the inheritance of acquired traits. The ideas are flawed, but he is the one of the first to propose the mechanism explaining how organisms change over time. 1831, Charles Darwin. Darwin set sail on the HMS Beagle, a voyage that will provide him a vast amount of evidence to support his exploration and how evolution works. 1858, Alfred Russell Wallace. Wallace writes to Darwin, speculating on evolution by natural selection, based on his studies of the distribution of plants and animals. On 1859, Darwin publishes On the Origin of Species. Geography is the study of past and present distribution of organisms. What does Darwin's mechanism for evolution suggest about living and extinct species? According to the principle of common descent, all species living and extinct are descended from ancient common ancestors. Homologous structure are structures that are similar in different species of common ancestry. How does geographic distribution of species today relate to their evolutionary history? No. Patterns and distribution of living and fossil species tell us how modern organisms evolved from their ancestors. Analogous structure are body parts that share a common function but not structure. 
How do fossils help to document the descent of modern species from ancient Many animals? recently discovered fossils from series that trace the evolution of modern species from extinct ancestors. What do homologous structures and similarities in embryonic development suggest about the process of evolutionary change? Evolutionary theory explains the existence of homologous structures adapted to different purposes as a result of descent with modification from common ancestors. How can molecular biology be used to trace the process of evolution. At the molecular level, the universal genetic code and homologous molecules provide evidence of common descent. Digial structure is structure that is inherited from ancestors but has lost much or all of its original function. How is evolution defined in genetic terms? Evolution in genetic terms involves the change in the frequency of alleles mm -hmm. in a population over time. Gene pool. All the genes, including all the different ales for each gene that are present in a population at any one time. What are the sources of genetic variation? sources of genetic variation are mutation, genetic recombination during sexual reproduction, and lateral gene transfer. Allele frequency is the number of times that an allele occurs in the gene pool, compared with the number of alleles in that pool for the same gene. Single gene traits are traits controlled by one gene that has two alleles. What determines the number of phenotypes for a given trait? The number of phenotypes produced for a trait depends on how many genes control the trait. Polygenic traits are traits controlled by two or more genes. Directional selection is form of natural selection in which individuals at one end of the distribution curve have higher fitness than individuals in the middle or the other end of the curve. Stabilizing selection is the form of natural selection in which individuals near the center of the distribution curve have higher fitness than individuals at either end of the curve. Disruptive selection is a form of natural selection in which individuals at the upper and lower ends of the curve have higher fitness than the individuals near the middle of the curve. Genetic drift is a random change in allele frequency caused by a series of chance occurrence that cause an allele to become more or less common in a population. How does natural selection affect single gene and polygenic Natural selection on single traits can lead to changes in ale frequencies and thus to changes in phenotype frequency. Natural selection on polygenic traits can affect the relative fitness and phenotypes and thereby produce one of three types of selection, directional selection, stabilizing selection, or disruptive. Founder effect is a change in alleles frequencies as a result of migration of a small subgroup of, of a population. What is genetic drift? In small populations, individuals leave just by chance. Over time, a series of chance occurrences can cause an allele to become more or less common in population. Genetic equilibrium is, situa is situations in which ally frequencies in populations remain the same. The Hardy-Weinberg principle is the principle that states the AL frequencies in a population remain constant unless one or more factors cause those frequencies to change. Sexual selection is when individuals select mates based on variable traits. What conditions are required to maintain genetic equilibrium? The Hardy-Weinberg principle predicts that five conditions can disturb genetic equilibrium and cause evolution to occur. 1. Non-random mating 2. Small population size 3. Immigration or emigration 4. Mutations or 5. Nat natural selection Species are a group of similar organisms that can breed and produce fertile offspring. The current hypothesis about Galapagos finch speciation. Go. According to this hypothesis, Speciation in Galapagos finches occurred by founding of a new population. Geographic isolation changes in the new population gene pool, behavioral isolation, and ecological competition. Speciation is a formation of new species. This type of isolation leads to the formation of new species. When populations become reproductively isolated, they can evolve into two separate species. Reproductive isolation can develop in a variety of ways including behavior isolation, 
geographic isolation, and temporal isolation. Reproductive isolation is the separation of a species or population so that they no longer interbreed and evolve into two separate species. Behavioral isolation is a form of reproductive isolation in which two populations develop differences in courtships, rituals, or other behaviors that prevent from breeding. <laughs> Temporal isolation is a form of reproductive isolation in which two populations are separated by geographic barriers such as rivers, mountains, or bodies of water, leading to the formation of two separate subspecies. Temporal isolation is a form of reproductive isolation in which two or more species reproduces at different times. Hardy Weinberg principle predicts that five conditions can disturb genetic equilibrium. <laughs> <laughs> the Hardy Weinberg principle predicts that five conditions can disturb genetic equil equilibrium. Evolutionary theory okay. explains that. Okay. What do homologous structures and simil have? Okay. How do fossils help to document the death patterns and distribution of living and fossil species? According to the principle of common dis According to the principle of common descent, all species, living and extinct, are descended from ancient common ancestors. Why what was not this is? Artificial oh touch his hair or something. Come on to go. What three patterns of diver- oh shit. <laughs>